You're watching News 4 This Morning with Lisa Sacasio. If you were just tuning in that it was one case, it was an infant that was diagnosed, and the doctor actually diagnosed it out of St. Clair County. Units are attempting to clear traffic, and we are asking motors to avoid this area. So if you're planning to go out to graduation to support your graduates and your kids, leave a little early and take a detour route. We're live here at the Westgate Tennis Center for day four of the Hardy's Pro Classic. But before we talk tennis, let's go to our top headlines for the day. Chipley police have confirmed the arrest of Travis Wilson of Cottondale. A lot of you right now are at home. You're watching the telethon, probably with your kids as you get ready. Think about your kids. They're happy, they're healthy, but there's kids out there right now who don't have that luxury. You can also text. We know it's early. Maybe you don't want to get on the phone right <laughs> yeah. away. We get it. You can easily text wishes, and that number that you can do that is 243-725. Can you let viewers know what's going on right now in the way of preparations? We're just listening to a conference with Georgia Governor's Nathan Dill, but now we are going to go to our team coverage. We're going to begin our team coverage now, and we're going to go live with Ryan Hennessy. He is out in Mariana. So, Ryan, please, what can you tell us? How are the conditions? 40 to 60 mile per hour winds. With those winds, the workers will not be able to be out there and working those power lines. You have to keep that in mind. Yesterday you met this morning. Will you guys mm -hmm. be meeting at all again? Like when will your next update kind of meeting be? I think so. You were driving around. Where did you drive around and what did you see? So please tell me a little bit more about that damage because you actually got to see it firsthand and you actually showed me some pretty amazing photos that you would just not believe. Yes. Dothan police are searching for a murder suspect after a Sunday night shooting. Tayshawn Stevenson already faces serious domestic assault charges. New this morning, the family of Maori Davenport has filed suit against the Alabama High School Athletic Association and director Steve Savarese. The time is 5.33 and happening today as an emergency need for blood continues in the wire grass. You can donate right here in Dothan. He made several promises to a crowd looking for answers after their community was left devastated by Hurricane Michael. Family and friends are remembering a former Miss National Peanut Festival. 25-year-old Whitney Devane died in a Birmingham hospital. NASA has announced that it will be taking women to the moon in a new mission called Artemis. The year's first lunar eclipse came with a little extra flair. And a Florida woman is dead after being hit by a semi-truck early this morning in Bay County. He murdered an elderly Dale County woman. Ken Curtis broke this story on WTVY.com and he has just returned from a court hearing in Ozark. So Ken, why is this man getting out of death row and out of prison? Not only is it day five of the fair here in the Wiregrass, it's also election day throughout Alabama. So with that, we begin our team coverage and we head back to our very own studio. Well, obviously weather has been a hot topic of the day, so will it cooperate with your plans? For that, let's check in with Meteor just Brooke Richardson for your first talk on weather for this afternoon. Everyone, you are looking live at Riverwalk Stadium in Montgomery, where Piedmont and Providence Christian are currently in game two of the 3A state championship. Current score, 4-4 four four in the bottom of the eighth. Now, just keep in mind that Providence won game one, 4 to nothing. If they win this, they are the state 3A state champs. If they lose, they'll play game three immediately after this game. You're actually getting a bird's eye view of what you guys are looking yeah, at. This, there you go. Look at all these kids here. And Evan, I wish I had this I at can't. their age. We didn't. I don't remember going to a career fair until maybe high school, and it wasn't. Same. It was like cheese fries. fries. You got jalapenos oh, see, on there. I don't want to have stinky breath There's for our no, guest, though. Look at the bite you've taken out of the turkey leg. That is, that is a Lisa size bite. There is a word for the fear of having peanut butter stick to the roof of your mouth. Oh gosh, I would have absolutely no idea. It's some word that I probably can't pronounce. Yeah, because I had to put in phonetics for it. All it's right. called a Rocky Butte to rophobia. So obviously we had rain this morning. We had rain now, it's still really windy. <laughs> Rocking the rain boots. Yeah. Can they, will this be like this tonight? I always say, you know, why mo go live on another planet? Because we need to get along on this planet first. Well, can we all learn to drive on this planet first? <laughs> before we learn to drive in the sky? Good morning and happy Halloween. It is 2018, but we're taking it back a few decades. Hopefully we can help brighten it, because I'll be honest, if you put your head outdoors, you're going to want to put it right back inside. You're, you're going to do a turtle. Yeah. All I can think about is that it's only going to get hotter, which means all the gnats and the humidity. Can I almost just feel your skin start to itch? Oh yeah, it did. I had, <laughs> yes, there, look, there we go. Uh, oh, uh, gosh. Sorry to start get, you off the morning like that. that. And Chris, please tell me then, with Orion, what do they hope to achieve and find on these missions? And one bill that has come up too, and also speaking kind of locally here, just statewide, is the anti-abortion bill. So where do you stand on that? And 
why. So services, airline miles, monetary donations, mm -hmm. but also time. So if people just want yes. to volunteer in general because you guys have a limited number of people working yes. to pull all of this off every single day, not just for this telephone, yes. how can they help volunteer? I asked you about the food before we go. I have to ask, do you have a prediction and who do you want to win the game? <sighs> I, I have a prediction and it's not how I want to win the game. What would you say are some tips as far as streaming Netflix while traveling this summer? Because you know the long lines at the airport and whatnot, they're going to need something to kind of keep their mind yep. busy. To UCLA, and you turned pro your sophomore year, so how would you compare, granted you played on the tennis team there, how would you compare college tennis to your pro tennis? And looking back, is there anything that you would have done differently or you wish that you could do again being Miss Alabama? Not one thing. I might have chosen to wear bright pink at Miss America <laughs> instead of white. <laughs> Wait, and Maddie, it was so nice to meet you all. <laughs> I appreciate you having me here today. Anytime. So. And then uh, speaking of calling, actually, if day comes Labor Day and I'm actually making this, I decide to be gutsy and try to pull this off. If I have questions. You guys actually have a tip line, a hotline That's that right. I can call. Who am I riding? Tell me a little bit more about the camel that I'm on. All right, well, this is Bubba. First time anchoring for me, not so hot. First time you doing this, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, this is her first time. There you go. Keep it, okay. keep it right there. Keep it strong right there. Okay. You may recognize Lisa Sicasio from her day job. Now owns TV stations in Montgomery. Anchoring the morning show at WTVY. But every night this there week, we she's taking on a different role. Anchoring put more pressure on me, I want to say, because people know me as being Lisa, and for them to come to the show and be like, oh, that's not what we expected, I didn't want that. Morning crew is dancing for a cause. Join Evan Chikvera and Lisa Sicasio as they compete in Dothan Dancing with the Stars, benefiting the Dothan-Houston County Substance Abuse Partnership. Consequences of morning shows celebrating Halloween. More developments in a Houston County truck bombing case coming up. We have Andy, we have Devin. Hello! Yes, and as you can see, super friendly. Oh, and super sweet. I think if you donate 10 pounds of food, you will get this commemorative food bowl. You can also buy t-shirts just like this. Ooh! Got some Michael Jackson breakdancing moves. <laughs> All right, I can dance, but not like that. I gotta give them a round of applause, everyone. Oh, and sync is one. Let's see. I was in the upper 40s. Well, Waterworld is not stopping them from coming out today because usually <laughs> they're out when it's hot. And actually, there's a duck back here. Where's the aqua duck? Because it blocks out 97% of the sun's harmful UV rays. They also say to apply it 10 to 15 minutes before heading outside. That's when the doc is here at SAMC suit up in this outfit that I have here. It's heavy and made of lead. Symptoms of a heart attack go beyond chest pain, Dr. Alibadi says. It can be anywhere from your earlobes down to your belly button. That tractor trailer then hit his Chevy Tahoe, came over this median here, went into the other lane, so trust across four lanes of traffic and then hit the other officer who was sitting in their car. It was actually heavier coming in on Highway 84. Same goes for the wind. Not very windy here, but windier out on the highway. Our car was actually swaying back and forth. People will be hitting the gym for their New Year's resolution. I went to Dothan Athletic Club where I discovered a unique way to shake up your workout routine. I just don't want to exist, I want to live, but I just don't want to live, I want to be healthy. Anisha Thomas and her sister Rosetta Coffin work out three to three and a half hours a day, five days a week. She's been working out with me now for about four years, so we kind of do our thing back here. And while going to the gym to get fit is nothing new, this kind of workout is. Like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz when she put on the slippers. Yep, high heels. 
and they don't keep 56-year-old Anisha from performing many moves or using different machines. I just wanted to do something different. I decided to just put my heels on and do the same exercises that I do if I didn't have my heels on. Not only does this high heel workout target and tone Anisha's lower body, she says it also gives her a little something extra. It gives a woman grace and poise and posture. It brings out finesse. It makes you feel really, really good. Um, and that way you're gonna try harder, try better, and you look great. Rosetta chooses to ditch the heels and opts instead for a more basic approach. Nisha's moves can be done even in sneakers like I have on here. However, the few extra inches her heels give definitely does add resistance. If heels are not your thing, but you're still struggling to get fit, Anisha says, Just say that I am going to do this. I am good. I am great. I am an exerciser. Start feeding your mind, and your mind will start feeding your body positive thoughts. In Dothan, I'm Lisa Sicasio. This 56-year-old definitely taught this 24-year-old some moves. <laughs> WTVY, your hometown news leader. Rosetta has special needs, but the sisters love being active together. Also, check with your doctor before starting a new workout regimen. Southeast Alabama is expanding their stroke network through telemedicine to help doctors diagnose and treat patients through technology. News 4's Lisa Sicasio introduces the newest members of the team, Sammy, the only medical robots in the Wiregrass. Meet Sammy newest addition to Southeast Alabama's Medical Center's stroke team. Sammy is a medical robot that allows doctors to see patients over remote distances and still provide the care and treatment they need. Strokes are time-sensitive cases where decisions matter as the brain is losing two million neurons a minute. Any little edge makes a difference. No matter what I was doing, if something came in that I had to absolutely see to make a decision, uh, both imaging-wise and uh, as far as exam-wise in the patient, I would have to drive in uh, to render a decision. Now I can be sitting at a dinner table in another location and make that same decision as thoughtfully. We'll go up and down elevators, be in different units of the hospital, the emergency room, the neuro ICU, and see patients really anywhere, any place in real time. Sammy is operated through an app on a smartphone or smart device. Doctors can drive it around with a simple touch of their fingertips and not even be in the same room. Dr. Wapham is licensed to operate Sammy and has worked with telemedicine for over 15 years. But don't be fooled. Sammy is tricky to drive. I make it turn around. Okay, can you bring it back? Or I'm just a horrible driver. Sammy is one of two robots that were donated by the SAMC Foundation, an employee campaign that has donated a million dollars in nine years. With technology advancing so quickly, we were happy to be able to fund these new robots as well, so our physicians have the best equipment available for patient care. Sammy is a little over four feet tall with rechargeable 8 to 12 hour batteries and two HD cameras that let the doctor and patient hear and see each other. It obeys HIPAA regulations regarding patient privacy and are secure over SAMC's network. Sammy also has a name badge to look like other faculty in the hospital. You get some kind of strange looks going down the hallway with the robot following you, but it was fun and um, I think it's going to generate a lot of interest, um, even from the patient side. These are to become a part of the culture here, to make sure that we uh, break down any barriers that people may have. We are winning in the, the war on stroke and that this is just simply another tool in that fight. In Dothan, I'm Lisa Sicasio, WTBY News 4, your hometown news leader. The SAMC Foundation hopes to get more robots in the future and put them in other departments. All right, so is this the way, or I guess this is the future of providing health care to patients now? Yes. So it's a way it makes them easier and more accessible to go save stroke patients because as we mentioned, the brain, when you're having a stroke, you are losing the neurons and time is of the essence once again. So with that, the doctor can now be somewhere else and be like, okay, this is what's going on and now I can think about what I have to do as I'm going to get this patient instead of having to drop everything and not really having the information there in the touch of his hands. Now I know they mentioned patient privacy, but mm -hmm. did they speak or did Dr. Wapton speak 
speak about, do they give the patient any education about Sammy or you just see Sammy and hello? <laughs> no, so they do give the education. That's kind of what this was about. This is kind of the introductory period of it. So that way people can get familiar with it. And again, when you think about the name Sammy, it's actually named after the award ceremonies that they do every year about the employees. So it's going back to making them feel like one of the employees so that way people aren't was weirded out by it. All right, thank you, Lisa. We have met Sammy. <laughs> SAMC Stroke Program treats patients from three states, Florida, Georgia, and from Alabama to the Mississippi line. Welcome back, the time is 634, and November is Diabetes Awareness Month. Diabetes is not just based on what you eat. It can be hereditary and affect all different ages. I spoke to a diabetes educator and patient at SAMC on how to manage the disease. There are two types of diabetes. Type one, where the pancreas stops producing insulin, and type 2, where the pancreas is not producing enough insulin or is insulin resistant. Insulin is a hormone secreted by the pancreas. Insulin is the key that fits all of our cells and that allows the sugar to go in, so we burn that sugar as energy. Um, we do two things with sugar. We either burn it as energy or we store it as fat. Yeah. Diabetes is not caused generally by eating a lot of sugar, so we do need a balanced diet with carbohydrates. Our fruits, our milk, um, our, some of our vegetables have carbohydrates. The American Diabetes Association recommends having a healthy weight, so they say to have three meals a day and a healthy bedtime snack. Heart health and exercise are also important when dealing with diabetes. Starling recommends exercising 30 minutes a day, five days a week. With diabetes, heart disease and stroke go hand in hand and we have to look at the big picture because of our um, obesity problem and lack of exercise. Patients must take insulin accordingly through shots, pills or a pump. Stick your They're also responsible for monitoring their glucose and or blood sugar levels. Just a small drop of blood and put it on the strip. And we wait about Keeping five it in a target seconds, range of 80 to 130. Sugar. They can do so with an at-home kit. And you're 95. That's a great blood sugar. Without the proper care, diabetes can lead to death or other ailments. Failure of your kidneys. You can have um, sores that spawn that do not uh, heal properly, uh, cause an amputation. My advice is to make sure you see your doctor and you follow the instructions that they give you. And listening to whatever the nutritionists tell you, if you follow that, uh, you'll be okay. Education is key when trying to control your diabetes and look for early warning signs. If you're always tired, if you're constantly thirsty, or you have a cut that's not healing. And SAMC offers diabetes classes for further learning and meal prepping. For more information on that or to book an appointment, you can visit our website, WTVY.com.